Durham secured their second championship win of the season on an eventful final day at Chesterfield. Despite a fine century from Hughes, Derbyshire were bowled out for 214 by Durham on day three at Chesterfield. An exciting final day was set up with Durham requiring 246 runs to win as Richardson and Steele returned to the middle and the pair made a good start. Both batsmen looked comfortable as they effortlessly ticked the scoreboard along and Richardson eventually brought up his second half century of the match. The opening stand reached 91 before Hamadoula Kadri got the breakthrough, Steele out for 25. Three overs later, Derbyshire's other spinning star to here picked up another wicket, Richardson caught by Madsen. With both openers gone in quick succession, Durham needed to rebuild, still requiring 187 runs to win. Both batsmen played sensibly and they took the score to 145 for two at lunch. As the afternoon session got underway, Durham required 137 runs to win but suffered a blow immediately as Madsen took a superb catch off to here to send Clark on his way for 23. Three overs later, Hamadoula Kadri picked up his second wicket as Madsen took another catch to dismiss Collingwood for six and Durham were under pressure. Burnham remained unfazed though and was well supported by Pringle. The pair took the score past 200 and as Burnham brought up his first half century of the season, Durham required 76 more runs to win. Burnham pushed on and played some wonderful strokes. Pringle also began playing expansively and went on a final charge, racing past 50 and hitting the winning runs in style with a 6 off Critchley to secure victory by 6 wickets. Back to back championship wins for Durham, Pringle unbeaten on 62 and Burnham the star man finishing on 93 not out. A disappointing result for Derbyshire who take away 7 points to remain 8th in the table Durham alternatively take 22 points to vacate their bottom spot for the first time in the season.